The Veterans Affairs scandal exposed earlier this year involved reports of long wait times for vets to get health care. Now, Congress is hearing new information from a whistleblower who says there have been false wait times on the handling of disability claims. Listen to this. They were instructing us to change the dates of claims on any claims, regardless of the circumstances, if they were older than a certain date. So, trying to make these old claims appear new, let's get an explanation. Joining me now is the military advisor for Concerned Veterans for America, Jesse Jane Duff. Good to see you again. We're glad you're here tonight because I tell you, this information is disturbing. Not only were they mm. trying to make these old claims look newer, but there were some claims that sat in boxes for literally years, untouched. Yes. What yes. do you make of this? Uh, it's appalling, and I'm not surprised. I hate keep, I hate to keep saying to the audience, I'm not surprised. But two years ago, I was aware that our claims were, or a year ago, I was, I was noticing that we had 600,000 claims in this backlog, and they were rapidly decreasing. And we heard that they were granting what's called provisional claims. What they were doing was they removed almost 8,000 of those claims from their total backlog and essentially pulled them off the, the rolls, even though they were still reviewing them. And those claims never really got resolved. So they were falsifying the numbers to give the appearance that they were set claims and I, I'm just not surprised it's the VA I think it's an illegitimate uh, racket that's going on uh, these leaders within the VA are all corrupt well that's strong words but take a look at the numbers here here's the mm -hmm. backlog as of March 2013 611,000 today mm -hmm. magically 275,000 yes uh, that's a big dramatic decrease but are you satisfied with the 275,000 number Okay, absolutely not, because in 2009, the backlog was only 89,000. Okay, so, you know, when the president patted Shinseki on the back for saying he reduced the backlog, yeah, the backlog he created. So let's keep that in mind first. Our appeals have climbed to 280,000. So we've got, out of the claims that are in the backlog, which means they've been waiting 125 days or longer to get their claims, average wait time is roughly around 340 days on some cases. They now are going into the appeals because they haven't been settled correctly. So now we've got 280,000 veterans that are in the appeals line. So that's not being reported. So you add those two numbers up together, you're looking at well over 500,000 wow. claims that have not been resolved. I have to tell you, though, the VA is running around with these numbers in their hot little hands oh, saying, yeah. this is wonderful, this is, this is yes. progress, this is what we've been trying to do. You say it's not enough, obviously. Other news that I want you to respond to coming out of these hearings mm -hmm. is that people or vets are getting paid who shouldn't be getting money. Yeah, uh, people, millions of dollars out the door. Does this speak to a, a, an unbelievably dysfunctional VA? What does this tell you about the institution and the way it runs? Well, that they don't know how to give accurate claims ratings. First of all, I want everybody who rates a claim to be granted that. However, I do not want this to become a period of pouring thousands and millions of dollars down the drain. They're looking at 370 or 350 million dollars roughly over the next five years being paid out to people who should not be getting a 100 percent disability rating. That's an incredible amount of taxpayers' dollars because they're trying to rush through so that they're not granting accurate claims. It's bad enough when they don't grant the Correctly, and you've got to go into an appeal. It's another thing to give a blanket 100% rating, and now taxpayers are funding something that has not been justified or proven. So, it's a, again, taxpayer dollars we need to be accountable for. At the same time, we need to be fair and accurate, and we need to expedite this. We've got 30 something thousand records that were found in Philadelphia. We've got thousands of records that were found in, in Baltimore. These were all claims records that have been shoved away and hidden. So, I just don't trust any of these, these managers. They've tried to give the the well, demonstration? I, I think you're making a good point, which brings a question to my mind. If I was operating, if the VA were a personal computer, I would restart it, okay? I would boot the computer <laughs> and restart yes. it. How do you do that with a government agency? Well, you know, this is the largest health care provider, government health care provider in the nation. It's the largest health care provider. I don't think the government, in my opinion, should even be in the health care business. All of these veterans should have the opportunity to go to private practice and get their care. But my solution is obviously a little too simplistic. Once you have a government agency, good luck in getting rid of it. Like the IRS and, you know, any other agency, it's with us. So I'm going to demand that they run effectively because I'm not going away. Concerned Veterans for America is not going away. We're going to ride them and we're going to keep riding them hard until they fix this because these men and women serve their country with honor and you cannot have people waiting over 125 days to receive benefits in a backlog when I could go get on 
food stamps in 30 days. It's appalling. It's not right. And then to lie to the American people about your results is another just we don't do that on active duty. So what are we doing with these VA officials? Couldn't agree with you more, Jesse. Well put, well said. However, I think the IRS is in the Constitution. We're not getting rid of it at any time. Okay, soon. we got them. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I'll give you that one. But we're not getting Jeff. rid of any of these others. They're, they're with us. And now we got to make them functional and be held accountable. Well, good luck doing it. It's, it's a tough road. Jesse, thank you. <laughs> thank you for having me, Jerry.